We the humans have lungs as respiratory organs. Thus we are a typical example of organisms having pulmonary respiratory system. The pulmonary respiratory system occupies the major part of the thoracic cavity. The rib cage surrounds and protects the lungs present inside the thoracic cavity. The floor of the thoracic cavity is formed of a dome-shaped diaphragm. The diaphragm along with the rib muscles changes the volume of the thoracic cavity during inspiration and expiration. The human respiratory system mainly consists of nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, the lungs, and bronchi. The external part of the nose bears two nostrils separated by cartilaginous septum. Air enters into the nasal cavity through nostrils. Nasal cavity is internally lined by specialized epithelial cells and tiny hairs. These cells are supplied with a network of blood capillaries. and secrete mucus to moisten the inhaled air. Nasal hairs filter the dust particles that enter the nasal cavity and blood capillaries make the air warm. Nasal cavity also has olfactory bulbs located at the top of the nasal cavity. They detect the odor of the air entering the nasal cavity. Filtered, moist and warm air passes from nasal cavity into nasopharynx, the upper part of the pharynx. Other than nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx are also the part of pharynx. Oropharynx is located behind the buccal cavity while laryngopharynx is located behind the larynx. After nasopharynx, Air passes through oropharynx and laryngopharynx and enters the larynx. Pharynx is common passage for both food and air. To prevent food and liquid from entering the air passage, a small flap of tissue called epiglottis is there. It is located at the glottis, which is the opening of the larynx. Epiglottis closes glottis during swallowing to prevent the entry of food and liquid into the air passage. Larynx, also called the voice box, is a hollow cartilaginous structure located at the opening of trachea. It has two ligamentous folds called vocal cords which help in the production of different sounds. Glottis is the space in between the vocal cords. Larynx is connected with lungs by the trachea. It runs through the neck in front of the esophagus, extends into the thoracic cavity. The walls of trachea consist of stiff C-shaped cartilage rings which impart flexibility and keep the trachea permanently distended. The lumen of trachea is lined with ciliated pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium. These cilia keep the unwanted particles away through their beating movement towards the buccal cavity. The trachea divides into two branches and each of them is called the bronchus. 
right bronchus enters into the right lung and divides into three smaller bronchi, whereas left bronchus enters into the left lung and divides into two smaller bronchi. Each bronchus redivides into smaller and finer branches called bronchioles, which form network of branching tubes in the lungs and carry air to and from the alveoli. Bronchioles further branch into respiratory bronchioles and these respiratory bronchioles further divide to form fine alveolar ducts. Each alveolar duct leads into a number of air sacs. Each sac is known as alveolus. Alveoli are the terminal end of the respiratory tree. Alveoli are extremely thin-walled, lobulated structures surrounded by blood capillaries. They are made up of thin, non-ciliated, simple squamous epithelium. The lumen of each alveolus has enormous surface area that facilitates gaseous exchange during respiration. There are about 750 million alveoli present in our lungs. Lungs are a pair of spongy, elastic and roughly triangular organs consisting of alveoli, bronchioles and blood vessels. The right lung has three lobes, superior lobe, middle lobe and inferior lobe. While the left lung has two lobes, superior lobe and inferior lobe. The left lung is slightly smaller as it has a cardiac notch to accommodate the heart in between. Each lung is covered by two membranes, the visceral pleura on the inner side and the parietal pleura on the outer side. Visceral pleura is tightly attached to the lung surface and parietal pleura lines the wall of thorax and diaphragm. The pleural cavity is airtight cavity filled with pleural fluid which lubricates the pleura and reduces the friction during expansion and contraction of lungs. The organs of human respiratory system work in sync to get sufficient amount of oxygen for ongoing and physical activity.